Long COVID um, is something that people are, are describing as when you've had COVID, you're getting continued symptoms afterwards, even after you're testing negative and it's, it's going on past the normal sort of expected, you know, acute symptoms. Um, we're going to just discuss today uh, testosterone and some of the studies that are being done um, on the link between testosterone and COVID, some of the, um, the outcomes and things that people have when they go into ICU. Um, and see if there, maybe there might be a link there um, between potentially long COVID and, and testosterone. So keep watching. Hi, and welcome back to another Balance My Hormones video. Um, today we're going to discuss COVID, but in particular long COVID. Um, I know it's a topic that probably people are getting tired of, but there are some things coming out where they're talking about testosterone in men. Um, and how it relates to COVID and COVID outcomes. So we've got Dr. Tuliatos, we've got Mike, Mike here again. So guys, I mean, Mike, you would, uh, we start with you, Mike. We, we had, uh, there was a study that, um, th that's just been done recently. And I know this is sort of very early stuff, but it's, it was saying that low testosterone might be uh, worse for having sort of better, better survival, as it were. So if, you, if you've got lower testosterone, you've got worse outcomes if you get COVID. Is that right? Yeah. What, what I what what brought me to this this topic was, you know, the, 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 our studies, um, a particular study in, in I think aging male that discussed, you know, the outcomes of what happens after COVID, and all all we're hearing about in some cases in the UK is this long COVID, these symptoms of brain fog, lack of energy just not feeling right. And I started thinking, well, you, you know, this is some of the similar symptoms people find with hypogonadism. Are there, is there any research out there that, that, may, that may link it? <clears throat> and there actually was. And, and uh, in the study, they showed that, you know, the poor prognosis after COVID, these symptoms may be related to uh, the damage that COVID may do to, you know, other organs, uh, particularly, uh, you know, the testes. And so, you know, there could, be something something there so that that's why i thought maybe we can talk about this um and and maybe you know, draw some connections so i've got the study here so a bit a bit of information on it so um it was basically um quite a big group of like 438 patients 232 males um they they had laboratory confirmed covid um they had detailed clinical history physical examination and other bits and bobs um, every patient had that, um, and they were checked by more than one doctor as well in this. The, it was then um, divided up and looked at where they were in, in, in their levels in the hospital and things like that. Um, they basically, it said in patients who had, um, uh, who had COVID, the serum gonadal hormones, so, so LH, FSH, to, you know, serum testosterone, was significantly decreased from pre-COVID levels, basically. Um, so it's, it's, it said death was observed in 11 of the males with um, uh, and, and seven females. But essentially the conclusion was that, that there is showing that in this study in particular that men had lower levels of testosterone after having COVID, um, but also that when you had low levels on arrival, as in, as in when, you, when you did get COVID and, and went into hospital, the, the lower your testosterone was, the high, higher likelihood of you going to intensive care and having to be ventilated. But um, so I suppose it's a small study. I suppose there's things like, does your testosterone just drop anyway if you get a pretty substantial illness or virus? Um, what, what do you think, Dr. T? So I know that men are more vulnerable to COVID because the testicles possess high reservoirs of AC2 where COVID is attached. Now, perhaps they give some higher survival rates to women because they have some protective role of the estrogens. Uh, nevertheless, uh, as far as I know, low testosterone levels are linked to, higher, to lower survival, survival rates and higher mortality rates um, when you get COVID, simply because somebody who's hypogonadal has more visceral fat that releases inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis factor. And actually, this is further um, explained that 
somebody who enters uh, COVID statistically is over 70. Now, people, men over 70 generally are hypervulnerable. The other thing is that when you get, when you get rushed to the ER or ICU, you get um, transfused IV with uh, glucocorticosteroids, like cortisone that leads to low testosterone. And also you have the overall stress syndrome, the physical, the mental stress syndrome of this ICU hospitalization that leads to cortisolemia and lower testosterone. But I think that high testosterone hegonodal men are more likely to survive uh, COVID uh, cytokine storm. And uh, perhaps the social replacement therapy has some benefit under COVID survival. So if you're on TRT, then, uh, George, and you're, you're given dexamethasone or corticosteroid. At um, least you're protected because dexamethasone is catabolic to the muscles and to the HPTA. So at least you are plugged with testosterone that protects you from this negative umbrella, you know, of the cortisone and the overall stress. Okay. So we've seen... Um... Uh, Mike, mumps, mumps, and mumps orchitis. I mean, um, it is something that obviously the doctors um, are aware of. Ask is something that needs to be documented because you know those, those sorts of illnesses. There, are, there are certain illnesses that cause certain damage to organs when when you have them, right? And and then they there is a correlation between that. We see a lot of guys who had mumps when they were younger, and particularly if they had swollen testicles afterwards, which is orchitis, basically, is an inflammation of your of the testicles basically um we, a lot of guys present and actually at younger ages with with lower testosterone levels and it's it's more of that primary picture as well of like higher lh and fsh showing that the testicles may not be as, as responsive you know um and, and the, the, there's a high signal to the testicles um but that would make i mean it, they're, they're seeing that it's attacking the gut and it's attacking different parts of the body, the COVID. And obviously we don't know enough about it yet to know exactly. I mean, I've heard of guys actually that, that actually had um, a, a bowel rupture following COVID. Um, and it was actually the doctors that are saying that they're noticing a correlation between guys post COVID and actually getting damage to their bowel because they think the virus attacks it or the inflammation, the reaction to it the, is actually causing some damage like it does in the lungs. It's that immune reaction. But that, I mean, that, I know it's massively sort of hypothetical, but it could be that that may be a cause, maybe, of, of causing the lower testosterone. But, I mean, what do you think? That could be, could be something like that. Yeah, I think um, the testosterone has an anti-inflammatory effect. If it's low, um, it could put uh, you at more risk. But um, what was interesting on, on the study uh, that you mentioned, uh, unlike the mumps, it said it would actually be... Um, your nanotropins were lower. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think we're going to have to wait and find out, you know, in time what, what the actual long-term effect of COVID uh, is on, uh, on men's testosterone levels. But, uh, you know, from the, the latest uh, reports, it, it, it doesn't look, uh, look, look ideal. But yeah. I think it's just we have to watch, wait and see. And this is from the actual study as well. So this is Professor, it's uh, Kayan, I think. I'm not sure they pronounced it right because it's got a different... Um, symbol under the sea not very good with that stuff but it says testosterone is associated with the immune system of the respiratory organs and low levels of testosterone might increase the risk yeah, of it's infection. about proliferation of team beta cells in the thymus gland and along with uh, gh you have higher immunity yeah so so that those things then being that being that cause i mean it also said low testosterone is also associated with infection related hospitalization and all cause mortality in males in ICU patients. So testosterone treatment may also have benefits beyond improving outcomes for COVID-19, which I think we all firmly agree on, but it's nice to hear somebody who's, you know, studying in a different area, right? And, and looking into this sort of, um, you know, mentioning that as well. Um, I mean, there's, you know, immune regulation. You can see the studies where it improves, you know, autoimmune markers um, and, and reduces antibodies to, 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 uh, for like in Hashimoto's and stuff, you can see that testosterone treatment has, has improved that. So it just goes to show that that immune regulation may be something that is linked to having having testosterone in the body or enough of it. Um, is there anything else to add? I know it's a bit of a strange subject. We don't know enough yet. I think it's just nice to try and keep our 
ear to the ground on stuff that sort of arises because long COVID, I mean, there's other viruses and stuff like Epstein-Barr and, 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 you know, which is glandular fever that I know some I people say, I would say in a few words that mm -hmm. you are protected from COVID when you are TRT, more than somebody who's not following TRT. And I have to tell you, I know VIP names in the bodybuilding community that got COVID in their mid fifties, actually five people, and they managed to, to pass it through at home, you know, not getting hospitalized, of course, they were getting tons of supplements and along the TRT, HRT regimen. So that's fair. I mean, I think we, you know, I think I personally feel that from what we're seeing that I would prefer to have good levels of testosterone for those reasons. Um, but it'd be interesting to see whether that long COVID link becomes more apparent, right? Absolutely. And I, I feel in some ways fortunate, you know, being on TRT, um, I don't want to have a full sense of security, of course, but you know, based on some of the studies and information, it's nice to think that, you know, you know, if I did, um, it, I might have some uh, a better outcome. So that was just another discussion of COVID and long COVID and uh, uh, some studies that are coming out, um, looking at associations um, with, with low testosterone and, and outcomes and, and people with, with COVID going to ICU, etc. So uh, if you like these videos, um, keep watching, please click subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, we'll be back with some more. Thank you guys for, for being part of that. Thanks, Dr. T. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Sam. And we'll be back with some more in future.